Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Facts. My name is Lauren Sorrentino. That's right. This is my husband, Michael. Yes. And today we're going to tell you a little bit about how we met. We met in 2000 and... What year was it? That was probably <laughs> we met 2000... 2004. Really? It was 2004. Yeah, because it was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I moved home, transferred home to a community college. Yeah, where were you coming from? Trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I went to UCF in Florida uh -huh. for one semester. Came home. And you were, what, 19? Yeah, I was 19. 19. We met at community college in a math class. In math class. And immediately just became a couple. Right. No, no, not right away. Um, I had to court you first for a little bit. There was another gentleman in the class that was also trying to court uh, Ragazinas here. Which, this is true. Which means little girl in Italian, but uh, <laughs> that's her nickname. And uh, eventually I won you over. Mm -hmm. We went on some dates and then we started dating fairly, I would say right away. Yeah, so we dated for like three years and then took a long break we did take a break say. because at that time period um lauren was going to uh school in the city yes for uh fashion mm -hmm. and i got an offer to uh start a my modeling career uh, i didn't have much of a career but i did get signed to a fitness model aging agency um for about a year and i went on a number of go sees and interviews nothing really ever came of it but at that same time, um, I was discovered for Jersey Shore. So um, I was going down the right road of trying to necessarily be on TV or follow my dreams and I was able to uh, fall upon Jersey Shore. And Lauren told me at the time, she said, listen, if this is gonna be another real world, she's like, I want no part of it. And I said, well, honey, I gotta take this chance in my life and if it goes well, you know, you know, maybe it'll work out between us. Yeah. So um, I took the chance to uh, film the show Jersey Shore, which was unknown at the time, and it ended up turning to be the biggest show ever on MTV and an international uh, success. Eventually, we got back together once Jersey Shore ended, and once Jersey Shore had ended, yep. Cheers, and I was you know, working and all that kind of stuff and it just worked out. It was honestly the right timing and take a break if you need to take a break because if you really love that person, it might work out down the road, but don't force it because if you force it, like some explosions could happen and then you're just scarred for life. Yeah, I remember. So we took healthy breaks. I remember <laughs> when my family told me they were like, uh, they were going to a kickboxing gym at the, at the time. Mm -hmm. It was CKO in Freehold, New Jersey. Yep. And they were like, listen, Lauren goes to CKO at like 8 o'clock usually. Every night, 8.15. Yeah. So I said, I didn't go to that gym. I knew the owners. And I said, you know what? Maybe if I go there, I can conveniently bump into her, which she didn't even know. But when I first showed up at the uh, kickboxing gym, I was actually, it was the first time in such a long time that I kind of froze up when I <laughs> saw her because she was like uh, my first love. Um, eventually, we started uh, going out pretty quickly after we had met at, at uh, CKO. Yeah. But a couple weeks after that, we started going on dates and hanging out, and we picked up right where we left off. But I will say that I wasn't necessarily doing the right thing at that particular time. I still wasn't sober. I was sort of on the edge of my party days, and I was not, um, I was pretty much acting up. And Lauren over here, um, she stayed the course. She wasn't having any of it at any time from day one, which is great um, because although I still wanted to party, she wanted to start a family. She was not having any of it. Um, and eventually after about a year, um, I tried to get sober. I went through the recovery process and um, you know, you've been there every step of the way for me, believing in the person that I will eventually be. And now I am three years sober. We are married. Our wedding was fire. Okay, it was. you'll get to see it. And um, and we just came back from our honeymoon, which was also fire. Um, we went to one of the hottest spa resorts in the country, in Arizona, and everything about Mirabal was um, 
just fire. The road between us, where we are now, and where we started was not all sunshine and roses, um, because I was not doing the right thing. And I will tell you right now, guys, um, if anyone's watching, happy wife means happy life. Facts. I'm trying to save you guys tons of stress right now. He knows from uh, a lot of trial. Yes, there, yeah. Right? This is years of of yeah, for many, learning yeah. not what not to do. For many for many years <laughs> I tried to do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. And that was not the really. that was the old situation and I didn't think that I had to face any consequences. Um, eventually I learned pretty quickly that this one was having none of it and that uh, I had to make a decision whether I wanted to start a family or just continue with my parting ways. Thank you guys so much for watching and hearing about our love story. Yep. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and give this video a like if you love these. Yes, stay tuned for everything The Situations.